power to weight ratio is a calculation commonly applied to engines and mobile power sources to enable the comparison of one unit or design to another. Power to weight ratio is a measurement of actual performance of any engine or power source. It is also used as a measurement of performance of a vehicle as a whole, with the engine's power output being divided by the weight of the vehicle, to give a metric that is independent of the vehicle's size. Power to weight is often quoted by manufacturers at the peak value, but the actual value may vary and use and variations will affect performance. The inverse of power to weight, weight to power ratio is a calculation commonly applied to aircraft, cars, and vehicles in general, to enable the comparison of one vehicle's performance to another. Power to weight ratio is equal to thrust per unit mass multiplied by the velocity of any vehicle. Power to weight the power-to-weight ratio formula for an engine is the power generated by the engine divided by the mass. A typical turbocharged V8 diesel engine might have an engine power of 250 kilowatts and a mass of 380 kilograms, giving it a power-to-weight ratio of 0.65 kilowatts per kilogram. Examples of high power-to-weight ratios can often be found in turbines. This is because of their ability to operate at very high speeds. For example, the Space Shuttle's main engines used to bow pumps to feed the propellants into the engine's combustion chamber. The original liquid hydrogen turbo pump is similar in size to an automobile engine, and produces 72,000 horsepower for a power-to-weight ratio of 153 kilowatts per kilogram. Equals physical interpretation equals, in classical mechanics, Instantaneous power is the limiting value of the average work done per unit time as the time interval IT approaches zero. The typically used metrical unit of the power to weight ratio is which equals. This fact allows one to express the power to weight ratio purely by SI base units. Propulsive power, if the work to be done is rectilinear motion of a body with constant mass, whose center of mass is to be accelerated along a straight line to a speed and angle with respect to the center and radial of a gravitational field by an onboard power plant, then the associated kinetic energy to be delivered to the body is equal to where, is mass of the body, is speed of the center of mass of the body, changing with time. The instantaneous mechanical pushing-pulling power delivered to the body from the power plant is then where is acceleration of the center of mass of the body, changing with time. Is linear force, or thrust, applied upon the center of mass of the body, changing with time. Is velocity of the center of mass of the body, changing with time. Is torque applied upon the center of mass of the body, changing with time. Is angular velocity of the center of mass of the body, changing with time. In propulsion, power is only delivered if the power plant is in motion, and is transmitted to cause the body to be in motion. It is typically assumed here that mechanical transmission allows the power plant to operate at peak output power. This assumption allows engine tuning to trade power bandwidth and engine mass for transmission complexity and mass. Electric motors do not suffer from this trade-off, instead trading their high torque for traction at low speed. The power advantage or power to weight ratio is then where is linear speed of the center of mass of the body. Engine power, the actual useful power of any traction engine can be calculated using a dynamometer to measure torque and rotational speed, with peak power sustained when transmission and or operator keeps the product of torque and rotational speed maximized. For jet engines there is often a cruise speed and power can be usefully calculated there, for rockets there is typically no cruise speed, so it is less meaningful. Peak power of a traction engine occurs at a rotational speed higher than the speed when torque is maximized and at or below the maximum rated rotational speed, max RPM. A rapidly falling torque curve would correspond with sharp torque and power curve peaks around their maxima at similar rotational speed, for example a small, lightweight engine with a large turbocharger. A slowly falling or near flat torque curve would correspond with a slowly rising power curve up to a maximum at a rotational speed close to max RPM, for example a large, heavy multi-cylinder engine suitable for cargo hauling. A falling torque curve could correspond with a near flat power curve across rotational speeds for smooth handling at different vehicle speeds. Examples 
equals engines equals heat engines and heat pumps. Thermal energy is made up from molecular kinetic energy and latent phase energy. Heat engines are able to convert thermal energy in the form of a temperature gradient between a hot source and a cold sink into other desirable mechanical work. Heat pumps take mechanical work to regenerate thermal energy in a temperature gradient. Care should be made when interpreting propulsive power, especially for jet engines and rockets, deliverable from heat engines to a vehicle. Electric motors Electromotive generators An electric motor uses electrical energy to provide mechanical work, usually through the interaction of a magnetic field and current carrying conductors. By the interaction of mechanical work on an electrical conductor in a magnetic field, electrical energy can be generated. Fluid engines and fluid pumps Fluids can be used to transmit and or store energy using pressure and other fluid properties. Hydraulic and pneumatic engines convert fluid pressure into other desirable mechanical or electrical work. Fluid pumps convert mechanical or electrical work into movement or pressure changes of a fluid, or storage in a pressure vessel. Thermoelectric generators and electrothermal actuators, a variety of effects can be harnessed to produce thermoelectricity, thermionic emission, pyroelectricity and piezoelectricity. Electrical resistance and ferromagnetism of materials can be harnessed to generate thermoacoustic energy from an electric current. Equals electrochemical and electrostatic cell systems equals Batteries All electrochemical cell batteries deliver a changing voltage as their chemistry changes from charged to discharged. A nominal output voltage and a cutoff voltage are typically specified for a battery by its manufacturer. The output voltage falls to the cutoff voltage when the battery becomes discharged. The nominal output voltage is always less than the open circuit voltage produced when the battery is charged. The temperature of a battery can affect the power it can deliver, where lower temperatures reduce power. Total energy delivered from a single charge cycle is affected by both the battery temperature and the power it delivers. If the temperature lowers or the power demand increases, the total energy delivered at the point of discharge is also reduced. Battery discharge profiles are often described in terms of a factor of battery capacity. For example, a battery with a nominal capacity quoted in ampere hours at a C/10 rated discharge current may safely provide a higher discharge current and therefore higher power to weight ratio, but only with a lower energy capacity. Power to weight ratio for batteries is therefore less meaningful without reference to corresponding energy to weight ratio and cell temperature. This relationship is known as Peukert's law. Electrostatic, electrolytic and electrochemical capacitors, capacitors store electric charge onto two electrodes separated by an electric field semi-insulating medium. Electrostatic capacitors feature planar electrodes onto which electric charge accumulates. Electrolytic capacitors use a liquid electrolyte as one of the electrodes and the electric double layer effect upon the surface of the dielectric electrolyte boundary to increase the amount of charge stored per unit volume. Electric double layer capacitors extend both electrodes within nanoprys material such as activated carbon to significantly increase the surface area upon which electric charge can accumulate, reducing the dielectric medium to nanopores and a very thin high permittivity separator. While capacitors tend not to be as temperature sensitive as batteries, they are significantly capacity constrained and without the strength of chemical bonds suffer from self-discharge. Power to weight ratio of capacitors is usually higher than batteries because charge transport units within the cell are smaller, however energy to weight ratio is conversely usually lower. Fuel cell stacks and flow cell batteries, fuel cells and flow cells, although perhaps using similar chemistry to batteries, have the distinction of not containing the energy storage medium or fuel. With a continuous flow of fuel and oxidant, available fuel cells and flow cells continue to convert the energy storage medium into electric energy and waste products. Fuel cells distinctly contain a fixed electrolyte whereas flow cells also require a continuous flow of electrolyte. Flow cells typically have the fuel dissolved in the electrolyte. Equals photovoltaics equals equals vehicles equals power to weight ratios for vehicles are usually calculated using curb weight or wet weight a euro in other words excluding weight of the driver and any cargo 
This could be slightly misleading, especially with regard to motorcycles, where the driver might weigh one-third to one-half as much as the vehicle itself. In the sport of competitive cycling athletes' performance is increasingly being expressed in VAMs and thus as a power-to-weight ratio in watt per kilogram. This can be measured through the use of a bicycle power meter or calculated from measuring incline of a road climb and the rider's time to ascend it. Utility and practical vehicles Most vehicles are designed to meet passenger comfort and cargo carrying requirements. Different designs trade off power-to-weight ratio to increase comfort cargo space, fuel economy, emissions control, energy security and endurance. Reduced drag and lower rolling resistance in a vehicle design can facilitate increased cargo space without increase in the power to weight ratio. This increases the roll flexibility of the vehicle. Energy security considerations can trade off power and weight, and therefore power to weight ratio, for fuel flexibility or drivetrain hybridization. Some utility and practical vehicle variants such as hot hatches and sports utility vehicles reconfigure power and weight to provide the perception of sports car-like performance or for other psychological benefit. Rail locomotives require high mass to maintain adhesive traction on the rails, therefore improving the power-to-weight ratio by reducing mass is not necessarily beneficial. However choice of rail locomotive traction system can support improved power to weight ratio by reducing mass for the same adhesion. Equals notable low ratio equals. Equals common power equals. Equals performance luxury, roadsters and mild sports equals. Increased engine performance is a consideration, but also other features associated with luxury vehicles. Longitudinal engines are common. Bodies vary from hot hatches, sedans, Cooper copyright S, convertibles and roadsters. Mid-range dual sport and cruiser motorcycles tend to have similar power-to-weight ratios. Sports vehicles and aircraft, power-to-weight ratio is an important vehicle characteristic that affects the acceleration and handling, and therefore the driving enjoyment, of any sports vehicle. Aircraft also depend on high power-to-weight ratio to achieve sufficient lift. Equals human equals, power-to-weight ratio is important in cycling, since it determines acceleration and the speed during hill climbs. Since a cyclist's power-to-weight output decreases with fatigue, it is normally discussed with relation to the length of time that they maintain that power. A professional cyclist can produce over 20 watts per kilogram as a 5-second maximum. See also, thrust-to-weight ratio, specific output, vehicle metrics, energy density, engine power, propulsive efficiency, von Kar RMA na Euro Gabrieli diagram. References External links, measurespeed.com, power-to-weight ratio calculator.